I hope we're good. I hope sound is good. I hope everything's good. Did I sit down without glasses? No, I got a, I got a small pair over here. Always, always the case. Get myself blocked in. Whoops. All blocked in. And then I realized, oh, I forgot something important. Something to help me see. Oh, goodness gracious. I am here live finally after, uh, seems like, I don't know, a week and a half maybe. Um, way too much going on in my world the last week and a half. Um, and even today, I thought I would have a nice relaxing day, but no. I've got, I got a bunch of work stuff to do after the stream, so, um, sadly. Sadly, I can't stitch all day. Good morning, Shannon. So, we're going to just stitch as much as we can while we can, and then, uh, then I got to get, get to, get to working. And so, in a way that, hopefully the way the last time I have to do it. I say that all the time. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're getting stitching done. I gotta get the. Let's see if I if I sat there. The let's see. So if I do that, do this. Hey Amy, what's up? I'm doing all right. Be perfectly honest. It's uh, it's never ending. Uh, drama, on my side of the woods here. Uh, so it's uh. I got a bunch of stuff I got to do today, um, but I had to come on and stitch with you guys because I got to stitch with you guys. It helps me relax. Ah, <sighs> resets my brain too. So get that, get that reset done, and I can move on. Hey, what's up, crazy? Didn't think I was using Twitch anymore. Got a notification. Oh, I cr I'm cross streaming, so I do I stream on Twitch and um, YouTube. So um, I've been doing that for I guess might be the fourth, third, fourth session I've tried doing that. Um, maybe it finally worked properly on Twitch. Uh, I didn't. Uh, it took me a long time to figure out how to cross stream. It really wasn't that hard, but just trying to add like one more thing into my into my uh, how to do list my brain only has so much space thanks Amy I think I appreciate that things things will regardless of of whatever happens on Friday with a big meeting that I have will will uh, we'll, we'll be moving through anyway and so What's up, Susan? 2 p.m. in the UK. Nice. Hey, Sharon. Have a meeting in an hour. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Did Hubby get all the shoveling done? Hubby, I had to stop Hubby. Um, Hubby was going to kill himself trying to get all the shoveling done. And there comes a point where it's like, you know what? You got all the important stuff done. Just leave the rest. We can get out. We can drive. The rest will just have to melt on its own time at, the, at work and everything else. Um... So, it'll just have to be what it has to be. Do, do, do. You don't get notifications for Facebook, but today it popped up, no problem. Oh, gotcha. I don't stream on, I don't put anything on Facebook. I don't know why things work the way they do sometimes. It's like there's an update or something, and then it works. It, it's just weird. So weird. So very weird. Ah. <sighs> Hopefully today we'll get a bunch of snow melting, clear out some spots. It would be nice. It would be nice. Morning, Rodeo Grandma. How you doing? 
Whew. Man, and this daylight savings time is killing me too. I gotta tell you, I, uh, getting up. I don't know. I just, I, the whole getting up thing, like getting up an hour later, I, man, I just don't know why we do daylight savings time. It just seems silly. Because even like um, and nowadays in the, with my schedule, or at least with my habits, I still get up. Oh, how do I say this? Like when I fall back, I still, well, I wake up like at the normal time. I don't know. I don't know how to even say it. My brain is not working right this morning. But this the whole spring forward thing is so hard. And it's, it's both the morning and the evening because the evening it's like, you know, it gets, it gets dark and then it's like, holy cow, it's time for bed. It feels like, like you don't get enough time at night to kind of relax and do whatever you got to do. It's kind of weird. It's so weird. So I'll, I'll be adjusted by the weekend, I think, but oh yeah. It's crazy. Skizzers. Where there you are, Skizzers. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Spring forward on the 28th. Crazy. You have daylight savings time in the UK? I didn't know that. I didn't know that you guys did that. I thought that was just a crazy American thing. That doesn't make any sense. Just let just let nature run its course. We're big, we're big people. We can take care of ourselves with spring, you know, with managing time. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. But Anyway, Did I, was I using that needle? I think I was using this needle. Hello, Canada. New Brunswick, Canada. Hello, hello. That's on the East Coast? That's on the East Coast. That's up there by... Maine, I think. Or am I thinking of New Brunswick, Maine? Ah. Hey, Sheila, what's up? Okay. Okay. So I worked some more. I actually stitched some more on Reaper last night. Reaper is not done. I will do a live session for Reaper when it is done. But um, I'm still kind of like amazed at it. The it says I have like 700 stitches to go. 600, 700 on uh, Pattern Keeper, but yet I'm like, I swear, I don't. Uh, so it makes it a little hard to know exactly the planning aspect of it, as far as like when I think I might have the live session. So I'll stitch a little bit more on it today and try and knock out a couple more colors. And so, and it literally just might be like this so-called final stitching session is maybe even just like 30 stitches or something. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Man, cat hair. That, actually, that might be one of my hairs. That looked like it was a gray hair, not a cat hair. But... Oh. 
I get why it was needed back in the day. Not sure why we still do it. Not sure it's really needed anymore. Maybe we do. I don't see the added value. I don't see why changing the time would enhance anything. I mean, it's just, I mean, theoretically, you get more sunlight during the summer, but I mean, you just get more sunlight. The sun still sets when it sets. And uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. I think it's like one of those like old fashioned things that it's like, you know, really ought to just get rid of it. Kind of like the penny. And, uh, <laughs> but tradition is tradition and people have a hard time changing. And so, I don't know. I don't know. Binky get lost in the snow. Binky's feet never touch the snow. She never saw, you know what? I didn't even show her the snow. She doesn't go outside at all. She, uh, yeah, she's the little princess Binky. Good morning from Phoenix. Thank you, Natalia. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Glad you joined us today. Now, Arizona's smart. Arizona, you guys don't do um, daylight savings, right? You never change your clocks. I think it was originally for the farming community who got up at daybreak and worked until it got dark. I know you would think that, but it's not like daylight savings time actually changes when the sun goes up and goes down. It's just a clock thing. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it ranks right up there with me right now, along with like, why do I not have a box of cookies in the house right now? I mean, it's, as far as things that I don't understand, like, why do I not have cookies? I need cookies. Actually, I don't need cookies, but my stress level needs cookies. It's bad. It's so bad. So, so bad. Oh, man. Yeah, it was, uh, the blizzard thing was really, it was, <clears throat> like, I explained in my video kind of how it took a whole, like, not a whole day to get started, but a whole day later than they thought, but it took a solid probably 12 to 18 hours from when they originally said it was going to, it just took forever to set up and get started. So it seemed like, you know, oh, we're, there's no way we're getting a foot. We're going to get like eight inches and, and that'll be fine. We'll deal with it. But man, we got pounded. Definitely the worst storm we've seen in 15 years or so. But. And the thing is, is that I always talk about how I want a snow day, but the problem is <laughs> snow days are for when you stay home and you don't have to work, but I had to go into work every day. <laughs> and so I'm like, it's not really like a snow day. And so it's not an official snow day when I have to go into work. So it's like, man, oh, well, it was still fun. I still enjoyed myself. I didn't make a snowman though. I should have made a snowman. could still make a snowman. You got five inches of rain and wind from the same system? Dang, it was, it was a wet system. You've been out and about today, happy to be home again. It's way too peoply outside. I understand that. A good reason to stay home and stitch. Yep. I know, it's gonna be crazy when we start, when we reach a point where everybody's kinda like, you know, back to normal and we'll and it will get back to normal here i think sooner than later it's gonna feel weird to have people out and about you know like you're gonna be in a crowd it's gonna feel so weird oh i get my vaccine tomorrow my first vaccine um i'm getting the pfizer vaccine and so uh i got on a got on a list and Bada bing, bada boom. And hopefully the rest of us at work will get <clears throat> our vaccines going here soon. So let's see, by early April, we hopefully we'll be back to letting people back inside our building. We probably could now, but just be safe, you know. 
Don't be don't be lackadaisical at, at the end of the at the end of the issue. At the end of the issue. Hope it goes smooth. <clears throat> you had <clears throat> excuse me. You had almost no reactions at all. Nice. I have, I was fine with when I got my flu vaccine this year. I was totally fine with that. So we'll see. Well, I have to work on Saturday regardless. So uh, I probably I plan on taking like a half a Benadryl um, that night. Kind of mitigate some any of the reactions issues and whatnot. So. Only a half. Usually, I would take a full one. Well, I guess I could take a full one just to be just to be a little bit more proactive. Um, but uh, yeah, I got to work Saturday, so it better not better not be causing the problems. Winter here, cold and wet. Normal for the UK. I gotcha. But you don't get a lot of snow, right? You get like. You get you get mostly rain, or 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 maybe you do get snow. It depends, I think, on where you are, right? Like southern southern uh, say England doesn't get uh, a lot of snow, but maybe like Scotland does. Northern Wales, I'm not sure. I'm not, oh no, Wales is kind of south, isn't it? Do, 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 do. You get lots of rain next to no snow, usually, and when we do, the country comes to a standstill. Yeah. You get plenty of rain. I miss rain. I really miss rain. We hardly get any here anymore. It used to be we used to get. And maybe, maybe with this storm, maybe this is a herald of how the year will go. Maybe we'll get a lot more moisture. Actually, the crazy thing is, is we've been sort of in a in a drought for a while, and um, they said this one snowstorm wiped out like five months of um, the drought, so to speak. Like, I think, I'm trying to think of how they measured it. It was, like, when we went into a drought, and then as it <clears throat> as it's progressed, like, how long we've been in a drought, and it, I don't know how many months it is. Uh, it might be a year and a half or whatever of drought-like conditions, and it erased almost half of it with just this one storm. It'll be really nice when, I mean, because to get a big dousing of... Uh, I mean, and this was wet, heavy snow. So get a big dousing uh, and have it soak into the ground is really, really nice this time of year. So that'll be good. Be really good. Even if we don't get any more snow, this will be pretty good for us for a while. Come to the UK, you won't miss the rain for long. The north in Scotland, they get quite a lot of snow, but the south, not really. Aha! Aha! Yeah, I just I miss a good old-fashioned storm. When I grew up in Georgia, we um, we would always get these like big, huge rainstorms, and thunder and lightning, and just torrential downpours and uh, pretty common 
out here in Colorado, it's thunder is pretty uncommon. Lightning is pretty uncommon. When we do get rain, it's usually more of just sort of like a gentle kind of rain and it just lasts for like an hour or two and then it's gone. You had an achy arm with your vaccine. Cool, cool, cool. New drought monitor came out for your area today. Those five inches help, but still dealing with it. Hope we get some good soaking in rains. Exactly. Exactly. Anybody get any new projects or start on anything new or just make good progress on any stitching? Since uh, we last talked, I had a nice uh, a nice Zoom meeting with uh, Ronnie Rowe a couple weeks ago. Actually, right after my last stream, we got on together and talked about some stuff. And uh, I was asking him about um, the Needlework Galleria show. Um, he's never been to the Needlework Galleria in Missouri um, one. He's been to a few others, but uh, not that one. And uh, we talked more about, he kept telling me, he's like, you know, you've got to finish your work. You got to get some stuff done. I'm like, I know, I know, I got to get it going. So that's why I kind of started getting on, on this stuff. But he's such a nice guy. I'm always like, I, I hang, I, when we, when we hang up, I'm always like, I got a stitch after I talk to him and, uh, go a little nuts with my stuff for a while, which is good. I will say that I'm glad that this year has definitely started off way better than last year with my stitching. Cause if I recall, like my stress level was so high that there were big chunks of time where I hardly got any stitching done. So to get, to get this stuff done here, it's pretty awesome. Ordered Ada and seven things of floss last night for a new project. Nice. What kind, which one, which one did you get? Made some good progress on your Wicco goals. Did a bit more on St. Basil's Cathedral, but doesn't look like much yet. Feel like I'm really close to finishing my first aid. Nice! Huggable QS by Randall Spangler. Oh, I like Randall Spangler. Good stuff. Or Huggable Qs. Is it Qs or QS? Morning Storm! What's up? And my next start, when I start my next, one of my next projects that I start, um, I, I, I got to make sure I'm actually stitching in frame. Um, I'm going to definitely try 10 stitching it and seeing how that turns out. I've got some 25 count fabric that I may do. I may just do the Eiffel Tower and see if I can stitch that up quickly. Quickly. Let's see. Oh. Huggable Quick Stitch. His little dragons are super cute. Nice. Hey, Luann. I'm making a lot of progress on your apothecary shop. Nice. Your main project. Holy cow. You're going to definitely beat me to finishing that baby. That's for sure. Finally going to start a Christmas carol from Hade. Had the pattern for years. Nice. That's cool. Been working on dreamscapes. You love it so much. Nice. Good morning. Hey, CJ. Quick hi. We're visiting my dad in Texas. Nice. Got your Ada from Monopoly. Oh, very cool. And been able to get a decent start on it. Road trips help with that. Yes, they do. I'm glad that you can actually stitch while you, um, uh, while you, uh, while you ride like that. It's, um, 
that's pretty cool. I've tried that. I've done that in the past, and sometimes I can stitch, and sometimes I can't. Um, but yeah, long trips like that. Oh man, you get so much stitching done. It's just staying organized. The regular pattern for that one. Cool for the Christmas one. Hey, Katie. Hi from the UK. Hello again from the UK. We got got UK folks in here today. Absolutely love the patterns on my Etsy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, Calif. How you doing? Only on interstates and straight roads can you stitch? Exactly. Doing the Christmas Carol design on 20 count. Boys. Hey, Ryan. Oh, that's awesome. I appreciate it. Got into cross stitching. Just got into cross stitching. I've been using my videos to learn. Well, that is awesome. Very cool. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Well, welcome to the land of cross stitching. To the uh, incredible, incredibly addictive rabbit hole that is cross stitching. Because it is a rabbit hole. But we love it. Whoops. Snag. Snag. Inspired you to use your phone for PK for Pattern Keeper. Download a one pattern, just try it. Works great. Love the idea of a small portable device. Oh, you're welcome, Linda. I just, you know, I, I, it's one less thing for me to have to worry about finding and keeping up with. I like the idea of having a bigger, a bigger surface to see with like a tablet, but honestly, I can, I can keep up with my phone and keep it charged and, you know, I do everything on my phone. So I, I appreciate people who can, that work with a tablet, but I just, I wish I could. I just cannot. There we go. But, but that's awesome. Welcome to the Stitching Fam. Exactly. Working on epic Pokemon. Nice. Very cool. I'm going to go back to stitching the old map, the old world map design using a hoop, as I haven't seen a stitch on that one for a long time. Yeah, actually, it's behind me. It's still in the hoop. Um, I just haven't worked on it yet. Um, yeah, I'm... Oh, gosh, I want to do it. I really do. It's still um, a matter of just dedicating my time to kind of getting certain things done. My focus right now is going to be on getting some of my own patterns finished um, so that I can start going to some uh, needlework shows uh, in 2022. So I'm going to need probably about, I want to have about five pieces done um, by like, oh wow. I really ought to put a webcam on Groot sometimes. He, um, he's so much more active. Oh, I'll get back to you. He's, he's sitting in this 50 gallon tank that's next to me and there's some sunlight streaming in and he's just making, he's just doing laps in the, in there right now. He's so much more active in this room. I just, I'm so glad we moved him in here. Um, I wonder if he can hear me and that's why he's so much more active. Like the bird chirps more. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I, my focus is going to be on my own pieces for a bit, uh, just because I need to get some finishes, get some stuff framed. And then, um, and then I'll go back to, I mean, I, I, the next finish after Reaper is going to be rainy Waterloo. And, uh, cause I'm closest to getting that one done. And so, and that one, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that in the wide frame or not. I may, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to, I'll probably keep it in the big Mondo, um, uh, roller frame. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like switching things up periodically. It's nice. It's fun. But yeah, the, 
Old World Map 2 is locked and loaded. Just need to work on it soon. What's up, Truffles? You're so glad you have your tablet. Your phone likes to have issues with not enough space. And that would be a reason not to use Pattern Keeper on your phone. But I've got a ton of space on mine, so that's, that's the good thing. I know it's the size of the world, but the detail already with what I've stitched is fab. I know, right? It's gorgeous. The golden kite patterns are absolutely amazing. They absolutely are. So... One way that I could kind of force, well not force, but one way I could sneak some progress in um, on Old World Map 2 is to start doing some of it on um, one of these streams. Like pick a stream and work on Old World Map 2 for, you know, an hour and a half or so on a stream. And then that way, you know, at least I'm making some progress on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I change my mind like literally every day. You're still working on my cathedral piece? Oh, nice. But it will be a while as you're also stitching various hates. But as soon as it's done, you'll send it to me. Thanks, crazy. I appreciate that. I kind of forgot who I sent what to who. But that's awesome. Thank you. You start stitching after seeing my amazing piece. Now you. Now you, you started streaming? Cool. <laughs> you're, so sca you're scared to look at Golden Kite designs. You already have more than enough baps on the go. Yeah, they do make mini ones. Yeah, Golden Kite is expensive. Um, but, I mean, the quality of the work is so incredible. Um, and they are definitely more a more European-based um, stitching company. But for the quality of the patterns that you get, I mean, like literally the, when I think I bought overall map two, I think it was like 65 bucks or something when I bought it, I bought the solid colors versions and that is going to last me once I bought the fabric for it, like that pattern is going to last me for decades. So yeah, it's great. I Good stuff, though. Good stuff. <clears throat> I've got some more patterns I need to get on the store. I don't know if I'll get that done today. I need to get it done today. If not today, then this weekend. But a few more, a few more things going up. Oops. Oops. How do they compare to cross stitch collectibles? So, um, they use a lot more colors, um, three to four, at least times more colors like overall map two, And they're a lot bigger. Um, now cross stitch collectibles will still get you an absolutely gorgeous, piece the the golden kite just more colors more a little bit more detail um definitely take longer to do there are some people that absolutely adore and love them i don't see how people get them done so quickly they actually you know what you can do is you can just go onto their website and if you register basically you can see their forum which has like all these People posting pictures of like um, completed, ah, I did it again, completed patterns. Um, and you can kind of see sort of what they look like as they stitch. They're very, they're more complicated. Let's just say that. They're a lot more complicated than cross stitch collectibles. Hey, Aaron. Uh, today, yes. I guess I didn't really make that clear in my video yesterday um, when I was going to stream. <clears throat> I took all the last week off, <clears throat> so I, um, sorry, my throat, so I, uh, I was like, well, I have to stitch today, and so you guys are already, like, getting me in a really happy, 
jovial mood. So I'm glad I st I'm glad I did this because I got stuff to work on today. But I'm gonna get that done. Finally got my tax stuff done yesterday, so that was good. And today will be. Mm, I, I gotta set a deadline for myself. No more than an hour and a half, maybe. Maybe I'll work on my work stuff for an hour and then start stitch some more. Mr. McChirpy Pants. Captain McChirpy Pants, sorry. Yes. Um, but yeah. Streaming, 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 streaming. On my map, is it just full stitches or does it use fractionals and backstitch? It is full cross stitch. Um, but I would say that if you're going to do one of those, I would absolutely do uh, 10 stitches or half stitches. Um, I kind of wish that I had done that now because I think it would have gone by faster. But that being said, I still love, I mean, gosh darn it, I love the design on it. I mean, it's just brilliant. You guys are going to convince me to start working on it again. But it, it's, it's still, uh, la, 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 still boils down to um, uh, floss. Do I have the floss that I need? to make some progress on it. That is the question. Mm, so unorganized. Hey kitty, what's up? Join me a few times on Twitch when I first started streaming. You were Carrie Bubbles on Twitch. Nice! Oh, you watch all my recorded streams. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Well, welcome back. 24 count piece of Ada you're using for the cathedral pat piece is massive and makes your haids look tiny. Really? Holy cow. I had somebody finish the squirrel piece from the store and post a picture, and somebody else had finished one of the flat iron buildings um, and posted a picture on the Etsy page. Um, everything is looking awesome. Looking absolutely awesome. Oh yeah, and the other thing I wanted to do was print out some diamond painting patterns. Because it's actually fairly straightforward to use the same cross stitch and export it to a um, diamond painting chart, apparently. So, man, I'll tell you what, if I didn't cross stitch, I would totally be diamond painting. But I cannot even, I don't even want to start diamond painting because... I'm I'm already immersed with one hobby that I am obsessed with. Ah! Most of your hades you're using 10 stitch and making progress so much faster than a few you're doing 1 over 1 on 25 count or 2 over 2 on 28. You should try 10 stitch sometime. You can loop start and make life so much easier. I know, right? That's that's my goal. That's my goal. What's up, Musical Stitches? Great to see you, too. How are the dogs doing? The dogs are doing just fine. Dogs are uh, dogs are sleeping downstairs. Um, except for Binky, who's sleeping over here in the, in the bedroom next door. She got a nice big full breakfast, and she's now sleeping it off. Sleeping off the food coma. Um, it is funny yesterday. Oh, I didn't even mention this, this story on my uh, thing. But my husband was home, and let the dogs out and the snow in the backyard is about, well, it's two feet in most places, but it's pile up higher in some places where, you know, he, he shoveled off the patio and whatnot. And, um, here's my cone, my cone of 310. Um, and, uh, so, and it's, it, in some places it's, it's melted a little bit. So it's already kind of hardened. It's got like a really crusty exterior and, he said he looked out at one point and Jelly, Jelly Belly, my little old, my little old girl, and she's so old now. She's just, 
she's definitely like, I don't know. I don't know how close it's going to be, but it feels close. But she was walking around on top of the snow, like three feet up in the air. And, uh, and then coming behind her was Zuzu who was just plowing through the snow. Cause she, she's too big to stand on the top. And so she was just plowing through the snow. And so my husband was calling them. She said, jelly looked like Legolas and, uh, Zuzu was Gimli and, uh, with their approaches to the snow. I would have liked to have seen Jelly walking around on the top of the snow. That's pretty cool. I'm like, dude, you got to get pictures when that happens. But everybody's doing fine. Bailey loves the snow. I got a picture of Bailey outside or when she came inside during the middle of the blizzard. She wouldn't come in for like an hour. And then when she did come in, she was like, she had like an inch of snow coating all of her exterior. She was like a little snow dog. It was so cute. She loved the snow. Been working on the massive Disney project. Nice. It's got Lion King, Aladdin, and Mickey Mouse. Nice. Love the castle on the river pattern. Oh, nice. That is a pretty one, isn't it? Yeah, I really, I really like that one. I just like, I think that with cross stitch, like watercolor paintings really lend themselves to, um, paintings in general lend themselves to cross stitch um, so well. the monochromatic pieces take a bit more work, but at least, at least now I'm like allowing myself to do some grayscale before I would have been like, well, if the black and white doesn't work, I'll just not do the pattern. And, and now I'm like, wait a minute, let's just do it in grayscale. Cause it's still going to look amazing. It's just going to take, you know, seven colors instead of one. Oh, and uh, audiobooks wise, because it's been a little bit of time, I have finished this. Well, so I'm reading the Stormlight Archive right now series from Brandon Sanderson, or I'm listening to it on audiobook, I should say. And I finished book 2.5 last night, which is sort of the smaller in between book of two and three. And I am starting book three. Well, I kind of started it last night, but I wasn't focused on it as much. Ah, oh, see, focus. Wasn't as focused on it as much as I should have been. So I got to start it back over. But I love this series. Love this series so much. If you like fantasy novels, highly recommend Stormlight Archive. It is so good. So good. So I'm going to be listening to this series until I got two books. I got book three, book four to finish. And then I might read some of the other ones that are in between the, the interludes that he's created in the universe. Um, and then, yeah, I might go back to, um, and then I may take a break from fantasy and go back to sci-fi and finish up the, uh, the expanse series. I've got, two or three books, two or three books left in that series. Yeah. Any advice for a new streamer? Stream today and you're super nervous. You know, literally just get through it. Uh, I, I, that's my best, that is my best um, advice because when I first started streaming and now I started streaming like three years into my YouTube channel. So I did have a little bit of an audience in the beginning, um, who knew me and, and whatnot, but you, you kind of have to learn how to like, just talk to yourself because there were definitely times where I streamed where, Oh man, is that a bad snack? Um, 
where wow, that's a bad snack. Um, hold on, emergency snack procedure. But you just have to learn how to just kind of talk your way through stuff. So, you know, like I sometimes I'm talking about books or movies or, or whatnot. Um, you just got to get used to talking. And wow, did I mess up. That is a bad mess up. Okay, let me get a slightly larger needle to work on this. So I got a snag here. Hmm. Hmm. This might not even this may not even be recoverable. We'll see here. Let's play around with it for a second. But you just gotta, you know, you just gotta get through it. So yeah, it's nerve-wracking. When I first started, it was like it was tough because it's just it, it's you feel exposed and you feel like people are gonna critique what you're doing and and that's happened for sure and I'm just like yeah okay that's fine and so part of it I guess is that I'm also used to it from used to talking to the camera from my videos too oh almost Yeah, that one's not going to pop through. Let's see. Okay, I can see part of my problem. I think I am between. I am betwixt. There we go. I got to pop that through. Holy cow! Made it work. Shoo! If I can do that, I can do anything. See you, CJ. Sounds good. We'll see you later. Any chance doing sci-fi designs? Absolutely. Absolutely. It kind of depends on sort of what I've, uh, um, what I come across and what I think would make a good pattern. So definitely need to look in that regard. Specifically, what you think would make a good pattern? Like, what would you like to see? That'll help me get started and looking. Yay! You just got registered for your vaccine tomorrow. Hey, I'm getting my vaccine tomorrow too. And it's a place you can easily walk to. Oh, man, dude, that's awesome. Yay! Hooray! I love it. All right, let me get back to this crazy, crazy snaggerific. And it did it again because it's got a little. Ah! Wow, I am impressive with my snagging ability. All right, let me try. Okay, I can pop that through. Where's that knot? And go maybe. All right, I'll tell you what. Pop goes the weasel. We're just going to cut that knot out of there. I can tell when it's not going to work. It may take me five minutes, but I can tell. You had your vaccine a few weeks ago. Please get it. Can't wait for your second dose. Yay! That's awesome, dude. So awesome. Oh, man. Do, 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 do. 
you guys follow the, oh, sorry about that. Do you guys follow the Woodlawn um, competition or exhibition or whatever they call it? It's the big needlework. Well, they do a lot of different things, I think, but um, it's like you can submit um, cross-stitch pieces for judging, like a big, 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 big deal. Now, I could not do that with any of my pieces because I am not a perfect stitcher by any means. But maybe one day if I really take my time with some of my smaller pieces. Oh, you're working on the cuddle bone again. I'm so glad you're doing that while I'm here. Thanks, Captain McChirpy Pants. Nails on a chalkboard. Ugh. Do, 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 do. Not sure something unusual. A lot of sci-fi like a Star Trek and Star Wars, so I'm guessing copyright would be a big issue. Yeah, maybe some watercolor quotes or something like that. Yeah, totally. You know, I, I'm trying to figure out... My problem right now is I'd like to do some quotes. There's some definitely some quotes that... Okay. Fabric, you're, it's like your cursed piece of floss. Um... I'm trying to figure out how to do proper quotes, um, make them look good, but it's hard. It's hard. Um, yeah, it would almost be like a whole new like section of stuff. But I'm I'm and I'm working on it. It's just I chip away at it a little bit at a time. Like I think I've put about four or five hours into trying to learn how to do the text properly and make it so that it's not gigantic. Um, but um, but it's piecemeal. It's like an hour here, an hour there. Get the cheese to sick bay. Get the cheese to sick bay. I haven't heard that one. All right, Sharon, see you later. Good luck with your vaccine. Hey, Angel, what's up? You're in the UK. You don't know of any places where you can submit or show cross stitch. Huh. Yeah, I'm sure there's got to be some kind of a show someplace. I mean, they have fairs and whatnot around here, of course, but like Woodlawn is like the like fancy, fancy one that people do. Ronnie said he was submitting a couple of his newer designs because there's all different kinds of categories. So there's like um, you can stitch from a pattern of your own, like a like your own pattern. You can stitch somebody else's pattern, and then you can stitch from like a photograph. Kind of like Empire State Workers could be like theoretically be entered, although the stitching is probably not great. And um, so, yeah, so there's those are the three categories that I saw. Someday. Someday when I'm off the road and the world is cold. Oh, it's from Star Trek Voyager. Ah, I watched Voyager. I liked the doctor. He was a funny dude. Get the cheese to sick bay. Nice. And snagging this one too. Gosh darn it. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Well, I just gotta learn how to do it. Just got to learn how to do it. And then get myself more stitchy time. Oh, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, by the end of the year, I'd be 
cutting my schedule down by a third or more at work if I can. That's a perfect world. We'll see. We'll see. I need to uh, I get some other things done first. Do. Forger was your favorite Star Trek? My favorite Star Trek was... Oh, man. Which one was mine? Uh, Next Generation, probably. It's the episode when the gel packs start manufacturing and they figure out it's Neelix's split that he made into cheese causing the problem. It's I I that's been a while. I don't quite remember that episode. I may have missed a season or two. I love that one when it started. I was all obsessed, but I think I moved at some point or I, I think that was when I started school, started vet school, and so things kind of got dropped. That was a really good show though. I mean, that was really 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 good show. A really good shoe. Next Generation is very close second favorite. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. My favorite um, yeah, that was that was pretty good stuff. guys think about the fact that Quentin Tarantino was it Quentin Tarantino who's doing the next uh who's doing the next Star Trek movie it's not Tarantino it's um is it Tarantino I'm not terribly happy about what they're doing with Star Trek in the movie world ended up binge watching all of Voyager on Netflix nice so convenient I haven't watched any of the new new shows, like the ones that are on CBS. Um, I haven't watched any of those. I just don't watch TV right now. Hey, Nudie, thanks so much for following. Appreciate it. Welcome. I only get the uh, the Twitch feed for some reason. Maybe that's just how it's set up. Is there another way to? Yeah, right now it's only it's only. Twitch, they can tell. Do, 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 do. In such a very, very heavy part of um, this particular project, um, <clears throat> as you can see from the from the picture, the first guy on the left 
It's like his legs and the and the beam. My uh, hubby has been starting to binge watch Doctor Who all over again. Um, we uh, I don't know if we if he actually just binge watched all of like the David Tennant <clears throat> Doctor or not because last night when I sat down with him uh, and he was watching it it was on David Tennant's last episode and so he was watching that and then it went into Matt Smith. And I gotta say, as much as I loved David Tennant and always thought he was the best doctor, honestly, I feel like now my mind has changed and I feel like my, the Matt Smith Doctor Who was my favorite. And I didn't really watch, I haven't watched anybody else since. I just couldn't get into the other doctors. You lost all love for Doctor Who when Sylvester McCoy was the Doctor. I haven't been able to watch it since as I pretty much prefer the older ones. Sylvester McCoy. Who is... which one was that? Was that way back in the day, or was that the more recent dude? Colin Baker. Now, Colin Baker, I know. I never watched any of the old guys. Hey, bookworm. Oh, thank you so much. It's been so long since you've made a stream. You love my new patterns I've made. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yay. Well, welcome back. Sylvester McCoy, not positive on the name. He was the first of the new... Oh, that wasn't Sylvester McCoy. Um, I know who you're talking about. The guy that was before David Tennant. Yeah, I didn't care for him either so much. Somebody will pop the name out here. Yeah, I didn't like the leather jacket look thing either. Sylvester McCoy had a really long scarf. That wasn't him, though. You guys know it way better than I do, especially you UK folks. Way better. Yeah, this section of the stitching I'm working on, it's like you can't even really tell what it's going to look like until you, I'm going to get this whole section done, and then you'll be like, aha, there it is. 
now it makes sense. Christopher Eccleson, thank you. Do I like Farscape and Stargate? Long Scarf was Tom Baker. I thought that. I, thought that. Um, I like Stargate. Um, Stargate, uh, I watched Stargate for about five seasons, I think. And then it just started getting weird. And I was like, all right, I'm kind of, I'm kind of out of it. I, I didn't really appreciate the whole, like, relationship between uh, the colonel and the uh, uh, and the, the female officer. I don't know why I just didn't get that. I just didn't get it. Um, and uh, I don't know. I can't remember what at what part I was like, all right, I'm not watching this anymore. And uh, I probably put in like a good solid five seasons on it. And then I never watched any of the other ones. I think really once um, Richard Dean Anderson was off of it, was off full time on the show, like I was kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of done. Um, okay, now I got to make sure I know where I'm at here so I don't mess it up. Did that one and that one. And then I did the next one. And now I'm working on this one. Okay. Stargate Atlantis. Did do it. Oh, Jason Momoa was on that one? The original Stargate did get a bit boring after a while. Gotcha. I'm really buffering for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not getting any. Try, try watching me on a lower resolution on your side because it's not showing me that I'm having a it's not showing me I'm having streaming problems today last time I streamed I definitely had streaming problems Let's see what oh sorry about that. I liked I liked Firefly, although that was only one season. It was such a bummer. But I really like that that show. Um That's cool that you're watching Next Generation right now. Really, really cool. Especially with your dad. That's awesome. Probably a lot of nostalgia there for him. Good stuff. But even Next Generation, Next Generation got a little stale until they introduced the Borg. And once they introduced the Borg, it was like, all right, game on. Hello. Hello, Ryan, on your second ever cross-stitch project. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Oh, and Serenity? Yeah, the movie? Oh, gosh. I thought that movie was unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Let's see here. So scoot up so y'all can say what I'm doing. That off. Let me go back over here. Actually, so you can see. So I've done that much of what I need to do. Still a lot of stitching over here, but if I stitch straight down, kind of the foot, one of his feet are right there. I think I'm gonna come over over to the far end over here and do this part. I'm gonna move over.
Oh, I also, I, don't, I mean, I don't know how, it's not really hardcore sci-fi. I really like Eureka. Um, except for the last season. Last season was total crap. Um, oh, they messed up that show. But they, at least they redeemed themselves with the final episode. The final episode was, that was a great final episode too. But, um, oh, that last season really put a sour taste in my mouth. Trekkies and warriors in the house, in your house, gotcha. Love Fireflies, shame this series ended, but the film wasn't bad. Love the Borg. Your husband likes seven to nine. Exactly, right? Afternoon, Anstis. Hey, how you doing? You loved how in the first season of Castle, Nathan Fillion acted in his character, really referenced Firefly. <laughs> That's cool. I never watched Castle. I love Nathan Fillion, but I don't, I haven't really, I actually, I haven't hardly watched any of his stuff since he, um, yeah, it's crazy. I just don't watch a lot of TV. Mom and I have been on a murder mystery kick lately. Broadchurch, Castle, Colombo, Murder, She Wrote. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I've heard Broadchurch is really good. I just never, I never got into, well, again, I don't watch TV, but Red Dwarf. Never did Red Dwarf. Love that up until season eight. Red Dwarf, and then it sucked. Oh, man. I hate it when they mess it up at the end. You link a good fabric pen to uh, hold on. Link a good fabric pen to use when gritting. Looking at starting to do it on third and fourth and so on projects. Um, so if you go to one of my YouTube videos and you go into the description, it'll there will be a link there for the gritting pen that I use. <clears throat> Hopefully it's still available. But um, I don't. It's, this is the one that I, I use for the most part. Um, when I can find it. And nowadays, I'm not sure if I can especially find this particular one, but I have a link to one on my YouTube uh, description. Uh, pros and cons of either lock scroll by Artisan Design and Roller Frame. I don't know anything about lock scroll, um, roller frame, pros and cons. Pros is uh, it two handed stitching. You have to learn how to do two handed stitching, but it's faster. And when I'm doing it on small projects like Reaper, it works out fantastic. Like this. Um, so there will be a smaller project that'll go on this small frame when this one's done. Um, for bigger projects, I'm not really loving um, the, the frame for that, uh, the roller frame. Um, negatives of roller frame also would be... Um, uh, trying to get one right now is virtually impossible. You have to wait quite a while. Um, let's do that wrong. Did I do that wrong? I did. That's my fault. Um, but I don't know anything about artisan designs uh, stuff. Is that the one that's from Canada? Somebody was talking about 
um, the scroll frame from Canada. And I do, I, I love that beautiful. It's definitely more expensive, but wow, is it, does it look great? Whee! Okay, I can do this one. Can I do this one? I can do this one. Yes, I can do this one. Hey, Tammy, what's up? Amazon. Yeah, love that pen. Bought two from Amazon. There you go, Nudie. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Ansys. Fancy basically has you a modified bed rest. Chomp in a little bit. Back to work tomorrow. Good, good, good. I'm glad you're doing better. I'm glad the fiance is taking care of you. Red, Red Dwarf used to be brilliant. I didn't watch the later seasons because I thought it didn't have the same feel. Gotcha. Working on an Easter tree display with knitted hearts and cross-stitched letters spelling out Easter, hanging from the branches of a wooden tree that you put in a wooden bowl. Nice! Artisan design is handmade in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. They also make a killer lap stand called the Elon. Elan. That's horrible. Oh, I haven't even looked at them. Very cool! I have no knowledge of those guys. I would, what I would do is I would do a search on YouTube because I will guarantee you that somebody has a video on there that probably compares the two or at least goes into the details of both of them. Um, ton of people out there that use those, I'm sure. And what is the one from Canada called? Oh man. You guys have definitely got me in a better mood. I woke up at I woke up at crabby three o'clock. And I was like, brick and brick and brick and brick and And then I went back to sleep thankfully and woke up in a slightly better mood. And now I'm in a really good mood. So life is good. Life is good. Hearthside Craftworks. I don't know if I would know the name if I heard it, to be honest with you. They had a beautiful, it was a very large floor stand that had, um, I want to say it was like a darker stain color to it. Um, not like, because this looks kind of like a walnut, like a really dark, it was like a dark brown. And, and I may be completely off on that because it's been a while since I looked at it. Quite a while. When I was trying to figure out what um, what stand I wanted to try, um, I just I found that one, but it was like it's like four hundred dollars or something, and I'm like, yeah, it's a bit much for me. Um, and so although maybe someday, maybe someday I can put it on the Christmas wish wishlist or birthday wish list or something like that.
That's them. They're expensive, but the quality is outstanding. I know. That's why I was drawn to them. I was like, that looks amazing. And if it, if it, it looked like it would be better for really large projects. I don't know. I actually just need to go back and, and look at some stuff, but. Oh, in my copious free time. husband's downstairs just sneezing up a storm. The allergies from after all this melts is going to be tremendous. Allergies. Holy cow, there's all these different kinds of stands. You got your floor stand from Canada, and it's beautiful, all oak. I may be... Th hey, Karen, what's up, Needlebug? Maybe thinking of the Dubco stand. They're dark wood, or Vel Velki Potaki has a great portable stand. They are pricey. It is made by Hearthside. Hearthside kind of starts to sound familiar. It's definitely Canadian. Because that was the other thing, too, was that it was going to take extra long time to get to me. So I was like, ah, even longer than I'm taking a picture right now of all your of your comments here so that I can look at that later and look at all those individual stands. All right. Let me get my pattern keeper back up. I had to check my let me check my messages real quick. Okay, I'm going to handle that later. Work work text. I'm going to do that when I've got more time to focus. Um, pattern Keeper. All right, there we go. Oh, ultra tempted by a Lowry stand, but it's already on your birthday wish list. Noise. I could use a piece of furniture. It's so nice. Use it as a piece of furniture. Wow. Made to order. It was not so bad. Price. 36 inches wide for people that sit in a wide chair or a wheelchair. And the question I would have with those is, because the issue that I'm having with, with my um, roller frame is that the, the wood itself bows um, on the long scroll frames. Um, I put a, I put like one of my crops, I put like rainy water replace on there and it, instead of staying at like this in the middle it it bows and it just I can't get it tight at all like it just doesn't get tight enough for me does that work better you have a pataki stand arriving on Saturday you ordered way back at the end of August wow you'll do a review after you get it noise yeah I'm just I'm looking for something that won't bend I don't have one in arm's reach here to show you like what happens to my patterns but that's why I'm like, I have to go back to the hoop because um, I can't, I, A, I can't get stuff tight enough that I like it. It's, it's ends up being super balanced. This is all right, but it's, you know, it's too loose. And then it just is the, like the roller frame, like the wood is just, it just bends. And I don't know how to not have it bend. Hey, Carrie, what's up? Lunch break time. Nice. Thirty-six inches wide for people that sit in a wide chair or a wheelchair. Gotcha. 
gotcha. Wait, am I on the right thing here? Get back down there, you silly cross-stitcher, you. Mm. There we go. Speaking of allergies, I need to take some Claritin today. I'm feeling like I'm going to be sneezy McSneezerson today. If you won the lottery, it would be one of the first things you get. Nice. Someday, I want a massive, not massive, I want like a dedicated craft room with like a, like a square cat. Like right now, this is more of a, an elongated room. I want a bigger square room that is just for craft stuff. I'm like hidden away in a basement. I like basements. That would be cool. That's what I would do. I'd get a I'd get a house so that I had like I'd buy the house based on the on the craft room. When we were looking at houses, when we thought <laughs> funnily thought that we were going to uh, move last year, yeah, that's not happening anytime soon for a million reasons, but. Um, there were a few houses that I absolutely loved because somebody had set up a craft room um, in some of the areas, and I'm like, oh, that looks amazing. Let's get that house and tell them to leave the craft room. They can take all their supplies, but t leave the furniture stuff set up. I'll take it. How do you say pataki? Is it pataki or patoki or potoki, pataki? The hearth side stand really great. They have holes along the back for short frames or long frames. Nice. You make your own using doweling from Home Depot. Had the same issue with roller frame. Did not like them. Okay, well good. I'm glad I'm not the only person. Um, have I tried quantum frames? They are awesome and talk about getting fabric tight. It gets like a drum. I have not tried quantum frames. Um, hold on. All right. I'm going to just, I got to look at stuff here. I'll tell you what, let's look at it on the phone. That way we, let's not go right to that. Quantum cross stitch frame. Is that Omenic? Omenic? Ooh, different. Holy cow. Does it come with, um, okay, I just got to keep scrolling down. I guess I would need to see how one's set up. There's a ton of different options. Whoops. Okay, I'm looking at... Made in Estonia, quantum frames provide drum tight tension for your needlework. Sidebars have an innovative piece which aids in achieving the desired tension, even on the sides of your work. So, stitching JT Stitching Corner says they're the only one in... Um, only one in the U.S. that carries it.
throw my sow down here. Oh, wow. Oh, which one is this? It's um like all the fairy tale stuff. Okay, so this person has a frame here. And look how big that is. That's pretty cool. I mean, that looks really awesome. That looks really awesome. I mean, I'm... I'll have to watch that video later. Bug cross stitch in Canada carries them. You're always here to assist. That is just the frame. You would need a different stand. Gotcha. Gotcha. Check it out. It has a tray and a pattern holder. Your iPad fits perfectly. Nice po to po to po to key. Po to key. Po to key. How do you say two? Po to key. Po to key. <laughs> sounding out words. Pipe dream would be to build, design a house. That way you can have your ideal craft room. Nice. Omenic. Yeah. Similar to, it looks similar to a needle needs frame. I would need a different stand. Gotcha. I have a couple quantums, but I find they're too heavy for your Lowry stand. Gotcha. I bought Omenic quantum frames for my mom and they're fantastic. I have needle needs millennium frames, but I would never buy them again because, okay, all right. <laughs> oh, Oh, it's Amy Stewart fairy tale bookcase. Okay, cool. Bug X stitch in Canada, cross stitch in Canada carries them. Charting Creations in Canada has them as well. That's where you got your first quantum frame. Hey, Teresa. I would only buy Omnic quantum frames from now on. Potoki. Thank you. <laughs> or T-O-W. And so, uh, Potoki. Nice. Well, that is interesting. Well, that's what I'm going to do today then between all my looking up stuff is watch some videos, uh, my work stuff. I'll watch videos for a new, a new frame or a new, uh, frame stand thing going on. Very cool. I mean, I do like, I do like my roller frame for the small, for the small stuff. And it is lightweight and it is nice, but I think because it's lightweight, it doesn't work with the bigger projects. So that one looks amazing. And if it allows me to get my larger projects out, that would be amazing. That would be awesome. If I could put some of my bigger stuff on there and just stitch away, I would be very happy. I pull up my pattern keeper. Oh, stop looking at everything else, Jules. All right. Hey, Lily, you're welcome. Yes. Pattern keeper. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Baba hum, baba hum, baba hum. Let's see. I'm going to go down here and stitch this bottom part. Yeah. Quantum's comment up to 110 centimeters long. So about, oh, that is pretty good. It's like, what, about 45, 
45 inches or so ish that would work for that would work for a lot of my stuff I mean that one that she was working on was pretty incredible ah. use a Lowry stand for it use the corner clamp though I have a long frame adapter for your bigger frames but you use a side clamp for it and have no problems oh you guys are gonna learn me some good stuff learn me some good stuff I appreciate it I am excited we'll try something different You have a Lowry stand. Keeps you pain free as you can have your hoop at, high le at eye level. Looking down for a long time sets off your neck issues. Oh, I get you. I get you, Nikki. You have several quantum frames and love them. Awesome. Well, I think I may have to try some. this page page line right here Been looking at the Monarch floor stand. Can't decide if you should try it or not, but apparently you can only get the plans. He no longer makes them. Oh, bummer. Bummer. I am going to probably, I'm going to finish up this bit of stitch and then I have got to rock and roll and get to uh, doing some stuff for work just to get this done. And then I'm going to be looking at, whoops, 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 dang it, made a mistake. Um, and then I'm going to be frogging. Or did I make a mistake? Maybe I didn't make a mistake. I don't think I did. I didn't make a mistake. You silly person. Um, yeah, because I got to jump in and do some other stuff here. Sadly, not cross-stitch related, but I will get back to the cross-stitch. 
But I'm going to have some fun looking at frame stuff today, I think. Maybe time to learn a new hobby. Nice. Or did I make a mistake? Gosh darn it, Julie. This page thing, I need to I need to take out my page um, settings. Let me change this. Show page breaks. I don't like to show page breaks. I mean, why would I show page breaks? I don't know why I forget to turn that off. So page breaks gone. That's good. Okay. Yeah, all that's good. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. See, I am right. I'm just my brain's going off in different directions. Different directions. A little bit of a snag. No, oh, actually, that was an old snag. I missed fixing it. Oh, and my stomach is growling. Thank you, Sensei. Stitching Sensei, appreciate it. Oh, I need to. I need to reach out. I totally need to at times. I actually had to go back and look at your. Um, I, I actually uh, well, I had to update. I updated something with Winstitch, and then oh, I, my base. Blah, 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 I can't talk. My settings got messed up for Pattern Keeper, so I had to go back and find your email where you told me how to set the settings for exporting for Pattern Keeper. I don't, um, I, oh man, my back. I don't set up the, um, holy cow, I think I just pinched a nerve in my back. Um, uh, I can't think now. Um, but anyway, I looked at that old, uh, I, I, I've probably looked at it two or three times since she sent it to me because I'm like, why is those settings again? I did think I, I think, do think I just did something to my back. I got a stitching injury. No, I didn't. It's called sitting in a chair injury. Oh, man. So the, so one last bit before I leave. So the snow shoveling part, the, the worst part about it was doing it at the kennel. The outdoor exercise yards, the fences are six feet tall. You can't throw the snow through the fence, obviously. So you have to throw this, the, this stuff over it. And that's why, that's why it was such a um, horrendous, horrible thing. <laughs> um, I want to get a canopy for the, uh, for that area so that never happens again but that's why I told everybody stop shoveling because throwing ridiculously heavy snow up over your head is not cool Not cool. No bueno. Aw, thanks, Karen. That's awesome. Do, 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 do. 
do 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 Karen, I think you missed the first part of the video where I was talking about um I definitely want to do Nashville um the Nashville show next year, but I also want to try and do a couple of the other ones too, if possible. Getting a little crazy. There we go. Alrighty. I did 216 stitches today. That's a solid stitching stream of work. Yes, guys, by the way, Miss Needlebug here has uh, a great floss tube channel that has lots of tutorials and explanations and stuff. So please be sure to follow her on YouTube. She is awesome. They have a creative festival twice a year, once in April and then in October. You're giving us a reason to come to Canada. Well, we don't need a reason to come to Canada, but that's cool. Nice. When you get your COVID jab, if you're right-handed, get it in your left arm. Good. Good one. Thank you. Will do, will do. Thank you. I appreciate that, Crazy. Didn't even think about that. Use key tags from Amazon. They work well. Show some, okay. Okay. I, can you hear that massive rumbling from the tummy? Holy cow. Alrighty then. Let me pull this out of the hoop so you guys can see what it looks like. Got something up there I gotta hold on to. Anyway, not quite there yet. Not quite there yet, but coming through. Coming through. Excited to make some progress. Just because it does make your arm achy. I know I don't I don't need a uh, an achy stitchy arm. That would not be well or good. Awesome. Well, all right, crazy people. I am going to call it a stream and move along. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, Parasimilol. Is that Tylenol? 
here in the States. Is that Tylenol? I, I know I've heard of that before. You just passed 10,000. Nice! 10,000 subscribers! Very cool. That is awesome. You deserve it, kiddo. You deserve it. That is awesome. I love it. Fantastico. And watch and watch how you sleep. Put a pillow on your left side so you don't roll over. Well, I sleep on my right side, so I won't be. Hey, Nanette. Good morning. Just as I'm leaving. Dang it. Um, the um, uh, yeah. So I sleep on my right side, so I should be good. So, but I'll let y'all know how it went on Sunday. But it's gonna be a nice like drive-through. Um, gonna be like a drive-through thing. So just lean my arm out the window and they'll take care of the rest. Ooh, that might mean I might need to get in the back seat because hus husband's going to drive me over. Thank you, Nanette. Okay, guys. I'm sorry for the yawning. All right. I'm all energized, energetic, and motivated and ready to go. So the rest of you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all on Sunday. We'll absolutely be stitching on Sunday. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. Um, but take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Happy stitching. Good luck making progress. Stay safe. And...